Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at IP version 6. Specifically within IP version 6, we're going to be taking a look at troubleshooting IPv6. So in this lab we have three routers, router 1, 2, and 3, all of which are in OSPF v3 area 0. The network between router 1 and router 2 is the 2001 12 12 12 double colon forward slash 64 network. Router 1 is the 1 IP and router 2 is the 2 IP. The network between router 1 and router 3 is the 2001 13 13 13 double colon forward slash 64 network. Router 1 is the 1 IP and router 3 is the 3 IP on the local network. We also have the interfaces assigned to each router that's connecting the routers together. And we have two loopbacks on router 2. We have loopback 2001 222 double colon forward slash 64. And we also have loopback 1, which is 2001 222222 22, 22, double colon forward slash 64. Also on router 3, we have the loopback 0 with the IP address 2001. 333 double colon forward slash 64. So what we're going to do in this lab is run through IP version 6 for OSPF v3 and we're going to be given a couple of trouble tickets in which we are going to have to troubleshoot and figure out what the problems are and how to resolve the issues that we have with the network in front of us. So let's go ahead and take a look at our trouble tickets. The first ticket is the first ticket reads that your network consulting firm is implementing an IPv6 network design for a large internet service provider. One of your junior level technicians has come to you for help. He is having problems bringing up the OSPF v3 adjacency between R2 and R1. Configure the network so that R2 and R1 form an OSPF v3 neighbor adjacency. So some of the issues, again, when you're dealing with IPv6 compared to IPv4, there are a lot of issues with OSPF v3 that make it so that a neighbor adjacency will not form just like in IPv4 OSPF. Some of these issues, which are common issues, are authentication mismatch, stub area issues, wrong area issues, you can also have wrong network statements, we also have timers if the hello and dead timers are configured wrong, and also MTU mismatch. So as we can see right off the bat the wrong network statement with OSPF v3 will not be an issue because there is no network statement. We can go into one of the routers Let's just pick router 1, and if we go under IPv6 OSPF, actually we'll do this. If I go under router 2 and do a show run, if we look under the IPv6 process for OSPF 1, let's go ahead and go under IPv6 router OSPF 1 you can see that right away we do not have a option to configure a network and that is because in OSPF v3 for IPv6 we specify each interface as running in OSPF in the process and the area so again that's all done under the interface on a per interface basis so again no network statement so we don't have to worry about that being an issue So let's go ahead and take a look at the connection between router 1 and router 2. It appears as though they are not able to form an OSPF v3 relationship. So one of the first things you want to do again in troubleshooting, just like with IPv6 and IPv4, on router 1 if we do a show IPv6 interface brief, this is going to bring up our interfaces that we have configured for OSP, I'm sorry, for IP version 6. 
so we can see that we have the link local IP address FE80 and we also have our global IP address as well and it's telling us basic layer 1 and layer 2 information which is good information to have so we know that layer 1 is up and layer 2 is up also we can do the command show interface faster than at 0 0 gives us a little more information on the actual interface I could do the show IPv6 interface faster than at 0 0 and it gives us a lot of good information in regards to IPv6 we have the layer 1 is up line protocol is also up we have the global unicast address that is configured under the interface and we have the subnet for this IP address which is correct so again 2001 12 12 12 double colon forward slash 64 is our network and our IP address is the one so that is all correct and the next thing we can do is go to router 2 and check it as well so again we can do the command